Hello guys, it's Anna here. So in today's video we I am painting uh, some flowers uh, with acrylics. Yes, I don't use acrylics for so long and I wanted to do something in acrylics again. I don't know um, why, but um, I really wanted to give them <laughs> uh, a go now. So I wanted to um, to paint flowers for some reason. I didn't go for birds this time. And I was I was here I was I was looking in on Pinterest and nowadays I'm kind of searching more on Pixabay because I think Pixabay it's really um, the, f the the rights of the photos are absolutely free and on Pinterest I'm never sure and um, so I, I always use the photo and always say where it comes from but I don't know if that's enough I hope it is because uh, I'm not I'm not using the exact photo for something I am just using it as a reference so I, I think it's okay just to make the reference um, to say where where it came from but Okay, if if anybody knows anything about uh, <laughs> that not being okay, please tell me, and I will change that. Uh, so I am using Pixabay these days. I am like making my little albums, and it's it's going well. There are amazing photos there. Uh, but this one I I took from Pinterest. I will leave the link of the photo on the description if you wanna check it out. This photo, I don't know if it's from a real like a still life or or even if it's from a painting because I hate that I don't even go for paintings I don't I don't I don't I see them because they they appear on on my on my um, page my 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 feed but I don't I don't keep them and I, I don't store them um, just those sketches there are tutorials those I keep but other than that like some other person's artwork usually I don't keep and so I, I don't think this is but <laughs> I don't know but I used only a little portion of the painting like the painting was huge and I used just a little corner and I obviously I didn't do photorealism so it, it's not really the um, the same painting and it's not uh, the whole painting this is just a detail of a photo or a painting so this photo was there and it absolutely caught my eye I don't know why I got the idea that I think I saw this afterwards after I started and almost finished the painting that this was a part of a uh, a bigger thing <laughs> I thought this was it this was the the painting the the painting the photo um, but uh, I was but then I think I realized it it was a paint I don't know I don't remember I think this was a painting and it's just a little square of the bottom corner <laughs> of the painting something like that but this is just an exercise I'm not gonna sell it or anyway I am just showing this to you guys so you you see what I am doing here so as in every other medium what is important is the values the shadows the forms the shapes I mean I, I, I start sketching with my acrylic is a very forgiving medium uh, as it's oils and I, I would love to paint these in oils I just don't like the um, the time that it takes to to dry so it's good for one reason it's good that you can keep going and it doesn't dry so you can keep fixing it if uh, until until you like it but um, then you have to like spend six months to, to let it dry and uh, yeah before you varnish and it's it's kind of that's that's a boring part it's very boring 
um, although it's kind of dried to the touch after like a week or so or even less if it's warm but uh, but you really have to wait a lot so acrylic acrylic I don't know what, what I have with acrylics I like acrylics I like it a lot uh, but then for some strange reason I just keep avoiding it and since I found pastels Jesus I just I just yeah I just avoid and oils it's the same thing I love oils but I don't like the part of the drying thing um, even gouache I like gouache a lot anyway uh, so uh, what I was saying is I sketched the um, the the flowers on the with 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 the very that little di diluted acrylic ink I think it was kind of a yellow ochre that I used and I start mapping out the plant, the flowers, and whatnot. Whatnot? I'm referring to this, this bottom part. I think it's it's bottom, uh, bottoms, <laughs> buttons. We call it botões in Portuguese, buttons in English. But I don't know, flower buttons. Do you say that? I think you do. Um, so I, I I I I sketched it and it's you have to layer it's like everything else the 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 way you approach this it's the same thing what's different it's the medium and how you apply it to the to the canvas how you make it uh blend how if you want it drier if you want it smoother um acrylics you use water to dilute them and once they're dry they dry so I don't know if you see me doing it here, but you kind of, it's good to have a spray bottle, water bottle, um, so you can spray your paint while you're painting. And that really determines how, how the density of the paint is. So if you want it to be more fluid, you need to add more water. If you need it to be more thick, um, you add less water. The first layers, uh, I believe should be more watery like thin layers like that that thing that thin on fat I think there's a rule <laughs> like that that you you always do the thinner layers below and then make them fatter as you progress so uh, in here the the, um, the canvas was was white and I didn't I didn't tone it because because I didn't and because I was going to occupy all the canvas and it was it's going to be like flowers on a black background. Uh, you can ask me why didn't you paint it all black and then add the painting and you can do that because it's acrylic once the, the base layer it's it's dried it won't mix and I think the colors would be vibrant too mainly the final ones not exactly the the one after the um, the first application uh, the application of black uh, first application of the color of the flower would be kind of dull of course and then um, I believe the colors would uh, be as bright as they are here but I cannot assure you that and I prefer the, the white canvas and it's also easier to to start with a white canvas and to, and I didn't prepare the canvas. Uh, it's not like a very cheap canvas, so I believe I, I don't know if it, it says it was gessoed or not, but I don't think it was because there was that that was that texture there um, that I, I don't really mind. It's I, I don't really mind um, when you stand back. Uh, the, the texture is not visible at all. And and I like that texture also. It makes me think of the old paintings of the masters, <laughs> like this one. <laughs> Very oh my god! So so I, I give you a little hint of how I paint, like the speed. <laughs> it's very slow. It took me a while to finish this guy, and it's it's not very it's not very very big. It's really very small comparing to the size of my tablet right there so yeah it's very small it's almost the size of the tablet so um, so yeah uh, what you have to pay attention to is like 
try to map it out. Well, in this case, it's flowers. It doesn't have to be very specific, uh, very accurate. And I wasn't, I wasn't trying to copy anyway. And this is not like a pet portrait or something that you have to have that recognizable factor, meaning um, you don't have to recognize this this specific flower because you know. Um, so it's 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 a bunch of flowers. You don't have to be very specific, but um, yeah, it it was it was an exercise. So I I, I always try to to see how far I can I can make it like what I'm looking at not that I'm trying hyper hyper realism but <laughs> but I wanted I wanted I wanted to see if I could do that and, and, and at the beginning I I, I thought I, I wasn't going to be able to to achieve like the the 3D shape feeling of the flowers on the canvas, but as long as you have like three values, like a dark, a medium and a light, you can always achieve the 3D effect. You can always do that. And it's, uh, as I always say, you have to look at it as shapes and see, example, for that, that red flower there, I saw, where do I see shadow? How big is the shadow? Where does it start? Where does it end? Is this the 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 value of the shadow? Like, I mean, if you only have one shadow, you don't even have to see the value. It's just uh, a shadow, a medium, and a light. So, where do we have the deepest, the deepest, uh, the darkest value on that? red flower is right on the center it's really really dark and then below there's a really really dark part so there's where you're going to focus your dark shadow then there's a medium well there's there's a medium dark shadow because on top uh, you kind of see the um, the shadow is not as intense as in the center and in the bottom but you have a dark there so you put a dark there then you, you, go, you go and pick uh, a medium red, red and you use it around the flower like in this like uh, around that that hole that very dark hole in the center and on the on the petals there are kind of open on top and then you go and pick a very light value almost like white uh, very light pink you'd say and you kind of use it where it's shining and, it, and you and you have to do this by looking at the photo it's so important that you look at the photo reference for this um, it's not to copy something that already exists it's just to see how the flower is is be behaving in its in environment in its light environment that gives you a lot of information that you need and that maybe if you are painting by yourself like by yourself uh, without a reference um, you won't be able to know because I don't know we don't know flowers that well and we I don't know it's like every every little single detail of value it's it's there on the photo to guide it's like your map it's like your map <laughs> so uh, you, if you look at it it makes your life um, so much easier um, and it's possible to make uh, a beautiful outcome out of it if I, w if I didn't have a photo reference I could try and I could imagine like where where so if the lights coming from here and this petal is like open what what's gonna what's gonna happen next what wh where is the sh what is the um, where is the light heating and where where is shadow because the light can get there i could try to imagine that but it's it's really <laughs> makes things really harder so that's why i don't think it's any shame to to use a photo reference and i feel very comfortable using it um i don't feel very comfortable if it's a painting of someone else but if it's just for an exercise at home we're not gonna sell it or have any money 
out of it, make any money out of it. I don't think I don't, I don't even think that's a bad thing. I lately I I've been watching some of my um, <laughs> the YouTube people I follow, and most of the channels are from arts are f and 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 they are like if they're stuck or something, they kind of go and make a piece about not about <laughs> they 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 try to paint like a Monet painting or uh, a Van Gogh painting or something so they they paint something that is very known well known and just so they they get the feeling and and they they, they say they learn a lot like understanding the brush strokes and whatnot if you're stuck if you're stuck if, and you really want to paint just paint anything it doesn't it doesn't have to be an original you can go and paint the masters <laughs> and try to study and see what they did and how they accomplish certain things all you have to do is paint because by painting you get a lot of knowledge like uh, a really good feel and of things and how things behave your paint your brushes I almost paint this painting with just one brush because that's one thing I do in, uh, 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 in with oils or with pastel oh my god with oils or with acrylics I I tend to use just one brush through all the painting it's just, it's just stupid <laughs> I think but I don't do that with watercolor watercolor usually I I absolutely bring like at least two brushes like one bigger and one smaller like the bigger one for spreading the water and doing big strokes and whatnot and a small one for details because I really I really I really do that for watercolor but I don't do that with um, oil paintings or, or acrylic paintings I don't know like I just keep going and just keep using the brush oh I just did that like you you hold the brush in different uh, positions and they 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 give you different um, marks so <laughs> uh, that's really important I think to um, to know your materials and know what your paint does and know how much time it takes to dry and know how you can blend if you can if you blend in a palette or if you blend directly in the canvas you need you you start to have the notion that with acrylics it's really easy to like what I'm doing right now it's painting the negative space with black and I'm kind of carving the flowers in um, you can really do that with pastel it's something that it's very used um, but not with watercolor because that would be a mess you cannot do that with watercolor because everything shows all the layers it's very transparent the medium and it really shows so I will never advise you to try and carve anything with watercolor but lately I've been working with watercolor and I I am I am learning some techniques that really makes watercolor much more approachable than what I thought it was. I thought like, okay, you you you've got to really make this right at the first. You get, you get one shot with watercolor. It's not really like that, and it's I I've been learning and some techniques that I, I I'm probably going to share here because I like to share what I learn and it's kind of cool you can kind of give and take not as 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 well as with acrylics but um, yeah I think my my not right next next video maybe the next video will be pastels again but um, I just wanted to make this one because it's a little different but but maybe after that one maybe I'll do some watercolor techniques I don't know I'm still learning it better myself and how to control it and whatnot so anyway so this is almost the end I'm just doing a little details with pure white and I was pleased with it in the end. I hope I'm not stealing anyone's copyright. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, if you got some value out of it, please give me the thumbs up and tell me what you think in the comments below. Also, if you have anything you'd like me to do uh, art-wise, you can leave suggestions in the description below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.